In a world where appearances often mask realities, a young girl lost amidst the chaos of her own life found herself entangled in a web of instability. She was a well-known actress, her life a constant spectacle under the glaring lights of fame, a persona she wore like a mask, hiding the turmoil within. She was a sweet girl, but one battling the demons of borderline personality disorder, her life a whirlwind of drugs, parties, and fleeting connections. She was naive, her heart often trampled upon by the ones she trusted. Her parents, a source of toxicity rather than solace, offered her no refuge. To cope, she surrounded herself with friends who mirrored her own chaos, their toxicity a familiar comfort in her unstable existence. Then one day she crossed paths with a boy, as innocent and idealistic as her. His fascination with psychology drew him towards her, his naivety matching her own. It was an unexpected connection, a spark that ignited against all odds. Theirs was a bond that felt like a twin flame connection, a soulmate kind of love. However, the girl, afraid of abandonment and fueled by her past traumas, was never completely honest with the boy. She wore a facade showcasing him as her trophy to her online followers and toxic friends, all the while hiding her deepest fears and vulnerabilities. But the boy, valuing her as a person and not a mere object of desire, refused to let go. He was drawn to her, a moth to her flame until the contradictions in her stories her flirtations with other men and her unhealthy lifestyle forced him to draw boundaries. He felt betrayed, his trust shattered, leading to a bitter confrontation between them. The boy lost his cool, his words sharp and piercing, they left the girl feeling judged and vulnerable. Her heart shattered, her deepest insecurities laid bare. Her friends, quick to turn on the boy, painted him as the villain, using his weaknesses against him. The fallout was swift and brutal. Months passed. The boy, using his wit and eloquence, extended an olive branch, a heartfelt apology. The girl, on the other hand, took her time to respond. They had not spoken for months, but neither had forgotten the other. The memories of their brief but intense bond still lingered, a bittersweet reminder of what they once had. Eventually, they decided to meet, to talk, to mend the broken threads of their connection. The girl, touched by the boy's sincerity, made a decision that would change her life. She cut off her toxic friends, deciding to fight for the boy, to fight for their love. She chose to become a better person, to love the boy the way he deserved to be loved. The boy, who was once a stranger, turned out to be the most genuine friend she ever had. The toxic friends she had known for a lifetime were exposed for who they truly were and were gone for good. The girl's journey was a testament to her strength, her resilience. She learned that love is not about clinging on to someone out of fear, but about growing together, about healing together. It's about embracing your vulnerabilities and transforming them into your strengths. It's about finding the courage to face your demons and making the conscious choice to become a better person for yourself and for the ones you love.